a warm welcome from Shanghai. Today, I'm meeting David Ding, founder, chairman, and CEO of HiFi Human Horizons. Hey, David, nice to meet you. So we know that technology is changing the cost. So in your view, how does internet, telecommunication, and also AI change the industry? First is that the way they design, develop the car has been totally changed. Before we talking about specification, uh, the how big the powertrain, the wheelbase, the space. Now the uh, industry player, they think about how to develop the uh, the future product. Normally, they think about scenario. So the customer use that product for what kind of scenario. So our philosophy uh, for develop the future product number one is. Uh, scenario oriented development. And second, the philosophy for our uh, development is uh, three smart together, smart car, smart city, and a smart road together. The whole industry has been changed a lot. Not only the, uh, the way we develop the vehicle, but also the way we, we structure our business. For example, like supply chain. Before we, you know, we talking about how do we are provider. Now we more talk about software provider and also chip provider and even like uh, Microsoft, mm -hmm. like game developer player, like Epic. Mm -hmm. I see many evidence in the expression of AI. It's a big change. Yeah. So it's very uh, uncertain mm -hmm. than before. Much, much more uncertain. But it's good. Yeah. So uncertain generates a lot of opportunity and a lot of a new company, a lot of innovation. Let's uh, welcome the hug, the uh, uncertain. Talking about products, so compared with the old traditional cars, what does the new generation of smart EV mean to customers? What new benefits they're creating for customers? I have a lot of experience with uh, car and with the car user. Actually, today we provide more uh, totally different experience to the, our customer. Mm -hmm. um, before is a transportation tool, but it is the only one way the customer uh, customer need. The other way customer need what? So the first thing they like to be connected. So this is why uh, we need to think about how to provide a more um, like a third space, that third space feeling to the customer. Mm. AI and internet give you a lot of uh, a capability to have those kind of things for your customer in your car. The second day is a very enjoyable journey and also very easy to connect to the world. Like in airplane, now some airplane has a Wi-Fi, yeah. some not. It's a huge difference. Yes. <laughs> But they still travel. And the third thing is a very convenient. Even with a constrained space, not like a home, but you can have a very easy, smart feeling with the uh, cabin, like a refrigerator, sofa, TV, uh, the earphone, those kind of things. Now we talk about maybe your ambition to go global. So we know that you, know, you are now exploring opportunity well beyond the China market, mm -hmm. and Europe can be one of your first focuses. Mm -hmm. So could you share with us right, why you want to take Hi-Fi to Europe now, and how do you think you can succeed in Europe? Yeah, I think number one is the Hi-Fi we found this brand is not only for China. So this is why when we develop a brand, actually we get a customer survey from uh, Europe. Then we do uh, some uh, customer survey, in China and the United States. Mm. So from day one, we think about we are global brand. The second thing, so we want to do global um, ex expansion, is that we are not able to car from China to the rest of the world. Mm. We want to be a footprint and even assembly car mm. for the region of the different country. The first stop we, are, we, we, we decided we will be uh, in European country to develop our product and the brand. We were going to open uh, soon in Munich airport. Mm. So we will open a uh, like, uh, showroom, but also with a lounging. Uh, later on, we will do uh, the another showroom in Oslo, Norway. I think in the future, we, we feel 
there's some uh, obstacle or difficulty you need to take over. But overall, we think uh, we have a bigger potential can develop our product uh, and the vehicle and also uh, the brand of the vehicle. Super exciting. I'm yeah. looking forward to having more hi fi cars mm -hmm. in Munich, Oslo, and all the other European cities. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I would also like to invite all of you to join us at IAA 2023 in Munich, where we discuss all the trends shaping the future automotive industry. Thank you all.